songs and felicitations. Okay, the first round. Boom. <laughs> and oh, geez, that was boom. just unnecessary. You kidding me? You can't be out of range. Well, greetings and felicitations, YouTube. You're all of the happy and way here with the uh, with a fresh Tantalus army uh, comment from Scorpion says that Tantalus will most likely beat Hippolyta. Let's see how this goes. I'm I'm salty. I'm not happy about this battle that I'm gonna have to do, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, ultimately, the goal is to try and win, but. I don't think it's going to be possible. You can see how beat up my army is and everything. The good news is, is that if I lose Hippolyta, whatever, I haven't gotten, you know, any significant units upgraded yet anyway. The problem is that I'll just be slowed down like another 10 turns. And that means that armies like this are going to have even more time to, to grow and spam my area. So I might be about... I'm going to guess turn 30 turn 40 maybe even turn 50 before i'm actually in a stable position where i can start growing but hey that's what happens when you refuse to save scum all right here we go now then i'm gonna go ahead and get deployed and try and find a way out of this hole i've dug myself into <laughs> <laughs> Today's drink chocolate milk because Yarl is a whiny baby day. I wish I had rum. Okay. Well, here's uh, here's how it's looking so far. I think no, there's there's one coming around this way. Okay, just gonna go ahead and try and you know blitz into some of these militia, beat them up a bit. I've got a swordswoman out here who's uh, already engaged by the young spears and losing. I have tried to set up my skirmish units to, to beat this up. I'm actually just going to go ahead and ignore their slingers. Get Apollo over here, because this is going to break any second now. I'm going to go ahead and pull two of these back. I just need to try and buy some time for my skirmishers. Shoot into that blob, please. Yeah, any second now, my troops are all going to become overwhelmed. And then that's pretty much game over. Here we go. First rank broke. Yeah, I can go ahead and just, you know, fast forward this at this point. I think it's already done. Man, I wish I had... Oh, I wish I had the units I needed for this. I really do. It looks like we're breaking over here now. I mean, obviously I can't do anything about all that. I don't know, maybe we can beat up Tantalus or something. You are losing ground. Homer, I was losing ground long before you spoke up. Uh, they're coming over here. Hey, I did break somebody, though. Oh, come on. Hipsipple. Hipsipile, why are you running away from this? Come on, you're doing just fine. Please shoot all these guys up. I mean, they are going, they are going rabid over these uh, Amazon swordswomen here. Napolita, please make like many kills here. No, just shoot, just shoot, just shoot, just, just shoot into this, please, please. It's just, it's free kills for you, lady. Yeah, exactly. Sixty-three kills. Let's see what the next one does. Blocked by a fence post. Okay, fine. Fine, try again. At least give my guys a good show here. Yeah, that was six more bodies. Let's shift her over here. Okay, I got her back. That's good. I can't believe they're still just grouped up here. This is absurd. Hippolyta. Hippolyta, go to town. Please. And make it last, because you're gonna die here. I, I hope you know that, lady. You're gonna you're gonna be wounded here. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's give her more missile damage, because why the hell not? You don't no no no. You don't need to go up there. You just need to stand here and shoot. They're they are literally clustered themselves up. I have you on fire at will, lady. Come on. Just that's right. That's right. That's right. 
It was a terrible, terrible camera sh camera job for me there. <laughs> Ninety-three kills. Come on, keep it up. Ninety-nine kills. Uh, the other lady just broke. That's fine. One hundred and five kills. I think the max you can get with an arrow is six per shot. <laughs> one hundred and eleven. Uh, never mind. <laughs> 117 they're just I'm, I'm gonna sit here and use up every second of this Aristea and kill as many of them as I can before she breaks 129 <laughs> 135 this will be 141 I bet let's see 141 let's do I hear 147 Come on, Hippolyta! Yes! Okay. 153. I can't believe this is it. What is this nonsense? 159. Come on, Hippolyta! Let's go! Are they even coming for me back here? What? Yeah, yeah, they're coming. Okay. <laughs> Do I hear 165? Yes! I have no idea what they're doing here! <laughs> okay, alright, she's like, alright, I give up, you win. <laughs> okay, um, losing is often not worth it, but that time I at least felt good. <laughs> at least felt good about it in the end. <laughs> Hippolyta had 69 ladies remaining. Nice! Alright, oh man, okay. Yeah, so she's beat up. That's fine. She'll she'll be back. I managed to kill... I only managed to kill 360 of them. That's so, so good. Uh, oh, most of it was Apollo with 171 kills. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, some more comments. Let's see here. Alamofar says, just name your spy. Just don't die, please. <laughs> I agree. Zeus's Wrath at Ianthaya. Okay, which reduces the line of sight there and is going to damage some buildings. I need to recruit a hero. <laughs> yeah, don't say. And then sign a non-aggression pact through diplomacy. All right, I've gained a new bronze tip javelin for Apollo somehow. All right, fine. Let's go ahead and start with this. This uh, Adamas here. I always do that. Wrong button. Wrong button. Go away. Go away. Go away. There it is. Rename. Just don't die, please. Spelled just like that, I believe. Yep. That is the correct spelling for just don't die, please. Because you all know me. My agents love to die. They just love. They love it. They die all the freaking time. So, I have Tantalus threats up here. I've got... Carrion's scouting me out and actually trespassing into my territory. And I believe... Uh, oh yeah, I also have um, this remnant of the Maonians of Tmolos around in my backfield. And I need to take over this province for a... for an epic mission quest. And on top of that, I'm also at war with the... Abantes, who I'm sure they actually probably have a stack coming my way shortly. Now, I've commented on this a couple of times before. I mentioned that I was mad when the Maonians of Tomolos, like, walked right past my only province. I've actually, I've seen that kind of behavior from the AI on Legendary Difficulty before when playing as Sarpedon. Um, once you start losing, it's really, really hard to turn it around. But you can and the, the AI gives you every opportunity to do so, I feel like. So, these enemies that are all over me and really should just put me out of my misery, they're not going to. I, I don't like that choice in the, in the AI programming. I think they really should just go in and be like, no, you're done. I've clearly defeated you in this game. I'm going to go ahead and kill you now. Um, either that or offer me, like, ridiculous peace treaty terms, vassalization, things like that. Like, I've lost these wars. 
in, in any traditional sense of what a war should be, everybody should be going, wow, yeah, Hippolyta got her butt kicked. That war is over now. And that either means that they come and they kill me, or that, you know, I, I sue for peace with ridiculous terms that, <laughs> that, that greatly leaves me in, in the dirt. But that's not how the AI operates. For some reason, that's not how they operate. So I'm going to have a chance to regroup, and I'm going to have a chance to beat these guys up. Step one is actually going to have to be to use my gold digger here to go after this man. That's going to earn me a bit more, or it should have, or it will soon start earning me gold every time she does that. Um, eventually she'll hit rank two, and then I'll be able to spend both points right here for Mouthpiece of the Divine and uh, Peddler of Prophecies, and then she'll really be making, start making me some gold. My spy, however, um, this army is already suffering attrition. I'm actually going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to come in here, poison the well, make them, try to make them suffer a little bit more attrition. And then it failed, unfortunately. But at least he didn't die, and he's already a liar. God dang it. Oh my lord. Okay, well... Next thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to... Wow. Okay, so a lot of my resources are going to have to go into repairing this. It's a lot of wood, but I don't really need the wood right now anyway. That one's just a, a pinch of my stone, but I can afford it still, so we're good. Um, at least I still have the, uh, the guardhouse here at Anthea, so that's at least well protected with the 14 garrison. And this place is a garrison of 8. So we're going to build the army here. Recruiting a new hero. So definitely not greedy. Anything where it's negative motivation in ending in a province of um, negative populace is actually pretty harmful. Because as you can see here, I'm losing uh, happiness here pretty quickly. Negative populace. Trojan settlement. Signing a peace treaty with a negative Trojan. So this person just hates Trojans. Okay, Yellow Horse. Ends a turn garrison isn't good. Uncompromising is useful. Emi Namini. Maybe. Were any of them Homeric? I didn't see any Homeric characters. I'm going to pick up uh, Emi Namini here. Emi Namini. Emi Namini. <laughs> the name is just pretty much a joke. Anyway, alright, so there's food, bronze, boom. Get her in there. We're gonna start working on the public order here, I guess. Still negative 13. Whatever. Okay, well. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, so I'm gonna pick up the stone slingers. Um... I can eventually turn the stone slingers into huntresses, so I, I definitely gonna get stone slingers, and I have the benefit of uh, for five turns Amazon archers, which buffs missile units, not just archers. So if somebody comes for me at Anthea, I'll be prepared for it. If somebody comes for me at Anthea, I'll be prepared for it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. More comments. Alvin Milfar says, Sarpedon has a lot of stone. Yeah, but if you trade with Sarpedon, you end up losing a lot of influence, and I'm already very low influence. Man, they just come right for me. I swear. So I'm not actually recruiting any troops this turn. What are you doing? Okay, I guess I am recruiting troops this turn. He just dealt with the uh, with that besieging force. No, I'm not just giving you food. No. All right. Wolfar says, almost forgot. Meet the new rising celebrity of Pawn Stars. Three food here, one stone there. You'll be rich someday. <laughs> he also says, thank you for the video. Why do you even bother changing with keyboards? Why not um, leave the quiet one? So, the quiet one is nice and all, but it's it's not very tactile, and it's actually difficult to type with, and not as, not as good for gaming. Whereas my Razer Clicky Clacky here, very tactile, very good for typing, also really solid response for, for gaming as well. So I use this when I'm just kind of using my computer as it is. Also it's pink, and uh, if you haven't noticed, I kind of have a pink thing going here. There's lots of, I mean actually you probably don't notice, but 
there's this, the controller, there's, you know, the the headset with the cat ears, there's the computer itself. My case is pink, all right? The, so, and then the chair, when it doesn't have a, a hoodie on it, also pink. I'm even kind of wearing pink today. Anyway, pink is a thing, so deal with it. Settlement was besieged, but the Maonians of Tomolus were destroyed by the Carrions. Um, I'd like to hear what the Amazons are offering. He's not really interested in any friendly stuff. I'd love to get a non-aggression pact with him. Um, I do have a mission goal for a non-aggression pact. What would it happen have to be to make it work? <clears throat> I can make that wood back. I can make that gold back. I can make all of that back, and I am going to be taking some time here. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just do it. This might buy me a little bit of time, and I'm at least going to get 100 food and 30 bronze for it back, but it's not ideal. Like, not the best circumstances. Don't concern yourself with my methods. Let's go poison this guy as well. Let's see if we can kill some militia. Hey, he was successful. He might kill like one whole, four whole militia. That's what he killed. Okay. I beseech the gods. All right, let's do, let's do an Aphrodite prayer here. Boom, twenty favor Aphrodite, and now she's ready to do that. Boom, boom, awesome. And that's actually my last comment. It came from Total Warhead, who, if you're not watching him, you should. He's much better at Troy campaign than I am. Um, he says, how you rotate priestesses with their cooldown of three turns per action type is to place her at one of your uh, edge provinces. You get favor from your own temple, then you get favor from an AI-controlled temple, and then you use her third uh, action on the third turn for one of the enemy armies to demoralize it and earn gold. Pretty solid strategy. I think that's a fantastic idea, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So I did get my Stone Slingers here. I'm just gonna. I'm honestly. I'm just gonna take a couple turns here now and try and rebuild what I've what I've uh, lost here. And you'll probably see me after that time has passed. Okay, turn twenty two now. Some interesting developments. Tantalus has been trying to get a peace treaty with me, and I've just been kind of turning him down. I did chase them away from raiding me up here with a smaller army before I got Apollo back, and then of course they chased me off. I decided I'd just fall back to Aithaya, dare him to come out in my provinces, and he's not doing it. He's out here trying to provoke a fight. This is Tantalus right here. He's just not trying to, to irk me. But in the meantime, I've been you know finishing a couple of quests here and there. I got this army completely built up. I even got a Savage Centaur Warrior out of an epic quest. And because I got the Savage Centaur Warrior, they also got me a Seer. And next turn I'm going to use the Seer on Aithaya, which is going to get me to, you guessed it, max rank Aphrodite, which means lots of growth, lots of happiness, and the ability to recruit a satyr. Uh, so I'm going to be set here very, very quickly with, as far as like how this province goes. I'm still <laughs> negative happiness, and that's because of the raiding that's happening here, but I've already used my spy. I've injured these armies as best I can. I'm going to go in. I'm going to try and just immediately 86 Celepios here, rush him, kill him, and then fight uh, Tantalus' reinforcements when he shows up. So let's go ahead and give this a go. In the open field, no less. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. Oh, there's there's an opportunity here. Holy cow. If this is... if this is, Let me show you on the battlefield what I'm looking at. Oh my god, yes they are. Yes they are. Okay, okay, okay. So, that's where the enemy reinforcements are coming from. They're going to load in right here. They're going to march like this and then they're gonna have to come this way they have to come this way because of this cliff face and this cliff face meaning that if i can get my army right here i can force them into a choke point and that makes me a very happy amazon <laughs> very happy amazon i like that a lot so i'm gonna set up my army with the intent of rushing this position and wherever the other guy is i'll send hippolyta and some uh some Amazon chargers to deal with, but holy cow, if I can get that, that'll be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to give a bunch of order, quick orders, real quick. Quick, 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 quick. Here we go. Start battle, let's get group one to move over here. Group two, make that line. Group four, right behind them. Group three, follow that up, get over here. 
Let's do this. They're immediately sprinting back there. That's exactly what they want to do. So this increased speed, just the charge bonus. I want to try and get group one and group th uh, three out here to deal with these guys quickly. Is that hero? He just went into the trees for some reason. Okay. I'll kill you over there. That's fine. I'm going to use a lot of hit and run tactics with my Savage Sensor Warriors here, but boom. Knock him down, get in a little bit of them, fall back. The foe has sighted your hidden units. You think? Oh man, running over these chumps. No Alright, my swordswomen are in position now. Line these ladies up a little bit more. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Let's start shooting back at some of their skirmishers and stuff. Looks like they're coming at me really thick over here, which is fine. That's fine. We can manage. Definitely crushed all of that. Let's get this uh, swords open over here. I do want to get a little bit of a charge bonus on some of these guys, so that's why I'm ordering attacks at the last second. Wow, I'm losing. I am losing. Holy cow. Let's get the Black Spears over here quickly. Let's get a ball it up here. Get up here, get up here. Just gonna have to charge into this stuff. Okay, we've got a breach here. That's good. Swordswomen are really fast units, guys. Just in case you didn't know that. Get up, Hollida, up here. Come on, lady. You're late. I need your horse already. Boom. Get this one over here. Let's give Hippolyta's buff to this unit. Okay, group four, time to make a new target. No, you all are not routing, all right? You hear me on that? You're not routing. You're not allowed to. Ooh, okay, but they also routed. Holy cow, that was close. Come on, surround this. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, ladies. Get my centaurs around. I got this. This is a done deal. Crushed them on this choke point. Got that hero dealt with. Come on, ladies. Alright, shoot the blob, shoot the blob, shoot the blob. Actually, oh, shoot that unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely got them cut off here. I'm earning XP too, which is also very useful for me right now. Actually, you know, go fight him in melee. Go fight him in melee. That's good. And there's their shatter. These ladies are killing some men here. That's what this is. I don't see any men, but they're here apparently. No, not anymore. They're celebrating. Who's still running? Who's still running? Hold on. Hold on. Battle's not over? Why is battle not over? Where are they? Oh, uh, I left the one militia. Ha! I thought I killed this man. I knocked, just apparently knocked him over. This dude wearing his loincloth. He's got his shield. He's got his hammer. Man, dude, you can afford a shield. How come you can't afford pants? How come you can't afford a shirt? What is this deal? He's walking out of here. He's like, I'm just going to power walk. I'm speed walking this. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was worth it. <laughs> Alright, Savage Sets our Warriors. No casualties, 191 kills. Love it. I earned some XP all over the place. This was now up to two. Very good, very good. Kick of the groin, punch in the face, decapitation, and we're done. Laugh at the corpse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a solid victory. And we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make this army eat it. We're absolutely gonna make this army eat it. I'm going after both of them. Glory awaits. Oh, did we? I think we crushed the, the first Queen army. Hippolyta. Yeah, Tantalus's army did not did not recover from that. They all died. Okay, let's Prove go kill this then. Yourself. Boom, boom. Show your courage. And clean that up. Pick up a couple of replenished casualties. Yes. Yes. We're going to go ahead and 
garrison up so we can get faster re um, recovery. Something else that's going to happen for my units is because I'm picking up the uh, the watchtower patrols and everything, I'm earning like 200 experience for all my units per turn. So you're going to start noticing like some of these ladies. Let's see, can I actually see what the number is? Unit experience required for next rank is 50. Next turn, this this unit should be like rank three already. Hot day. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get that max favor of Aphrodite. Kaboom. That's gonna be right there. Max favor Aphrodite. Huge news. And now I have all of these perks, including the ability to recruit a satyr. Damage resistance for heroes. Uh, and minus 3% uh, success chance for enemy agents' actions against my own characters. Love this stuff. This is great news. I can also Hecatomb if I want for 50 growth and 5 happiness. I just, I don't have to, which is good. Uh, and, oh, wait, that's the prayer. What am I talking about? I could pray for that. Hecatomb, though. Hmm, who am I going to Hecatomb? I don't need to worry about it just yet. Respect. Let's get her up here, do the oration to dread. I can make any problem go away. I see more clearly than ever. Do a murmurs of sedition here. Let's pick up that sayer. Clytides! This will be fun. So standing passive, he's gonna give me five happiness and thirty growth. I can do have him do a Song of Prosperity, which will instantly complete all constructions begin in target settlement. The satyr is removed afterwards. Or I can do Song of Discord for 75% fatigue and minus 50% melee attack for all enemy units in the army. Probably going to use him to help me with um, building stuff. Once I get to... Hold on, am I going to get to... It's going to take six turns to reach rank four. I, I'm just going to go ahead and use him right away. Oh, but I can't. <laughs> so, no, I'm just going to use him to buff the, the, the area that I'm standing that I am standing in. And Thyaira isn't even worth the battle. Hit them hard. Boom. Take it, Tantalus. Take it. All right. Atrax of Miletus is at war with Ephesos. Ephesos are the... They're both Achaeans. Um, but I, I need Ephesos' land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer to join Atrax's war against Ephesos. Even though Ephesos kind of likes me, it's still going to help me in the uh, in the long run. So I'm going to offer to join their war, and I'm going to... I don't want them to, to join any of my wars, so this will be a very one-sided deal. They like it. You offer a non-aggression pack. They still really like this plan. There's no way they're going to give me something, but hey, let's see. Uh-uh, they say. <laughs> no, we're going to go for a barter agreement. Hi. And just like that, we are at war with Ephesos. Bring me victory. Oh, huge battle. Huge battle here can't save because it's legendary difficulty. I wanted to so that I can, like, you know, start over right here, but this is going to be too good to pass up. Going after Ephesos here. They do have some renowned slingers in that garrison. Um, oh, that's an army. They actually recruited those. Holy cow. But as you can see, this is a lot of, like, trash units. Oh, they got club warriors, though. That's not trash. And the Battle of Ephesos is going to be fought on the battlefield of Ares. Classic map here. I've got reinforcements coming from my right flank, and I've got the Slingers, Koranus, in front of me. So the majority of the battle is actually going to be fought kind of in these trees here. Or I can back up and fight it as they're coming out of the tree line. I think that's what I want, because I can have my right flank protected here. My range can hit them just as they're coming out of the tree line. That's good. They're fleeing, trying to make it so they can meet up with the rest of their army, get on the other side of this cliff, but I'm going to be charging them with Savage Centaur Warriors. They don't have much choice here. First blood goes to Hippolyta. And first blood goes to Hippolyta for the other team, too. She just she just killed one of my she just killed two of my own centaurs. 
I'm gonna stop her right now. Just have her charge in here in melee instead. He preserved my um, my Savage Sensor Warriors. It's interesting. I think I've split their army now, though. I think some of them are going to be coming straight for my army out here. And some are going out this way. Centaurs are no longer preserved. I'm going to get them off this hero for a second. Let some of my uh, Black Spears deal with this. I mean, my Amazon Chargers, because they're not Black Spears yet. I'm going to put my Centaurs into the trees. Let's see if we can't find them. Okay, they're definitely coming up this way, then. Back up, ladies. You're unshielded. Don't just get shot. All right, there's a lot, but I think I, think I can handle heart. it. Has the enemy okay, here. that's good news. It's also freed up both of these black spears to fight those young spears. I'm gonna go ahead and s silence all of these skirmishers. My slingers did a good job with the. Oh, oh, okay. Swordsman shattered all the way down the line. I'm just gonna try and charge over as many skirmishers as I can with my centaurs. But yeah, my main line just completely evaporated there. I need to fall back. With my slingers. I am winning here, I guess. But so are they, it says. Oh, come on, ladies. Your warriors have been routed. Uh, kill the club warriors, club warriors. <sighs> come on, guys. Okay, now they're coming back. Desperately got to get my stone slingers out of this, though. Oof. This is looking ugly. Looking very ugly. Okay. All right. All right. It could be worse. It could be much worse. I got Hippolyta out here just kind of shooting everybody in the flank, evaporating some units. I'm trying to use my um, my Amazon Swordsman to, to target out some of their infantry where, where I can get them out, you know, kind of out-positioned, out-flanked. Your hero is under attack. She'll be fine, though. Centaurs are trying to do something over... I'm gonna lose, though, I think. This battle did not look like it was too much for me, but I was apparently mistaken in that. I'd say this is a very disappointing result. They're gonna need to fall back again. Alright, Hippolyta's now stuck in a melee over here. Centaurs are almost dead. <sighs> Dang! Come on, Chargers. Don't let me down. That looked... That looked crucial. Come on. Wavering, wavering, wavering. Like... I... I can never get used to... The... The morale buffs. Like... I'm just gonna hit fast forward at this point. I don't need... I don't know. That's it. It's done. This battle's done. I, I, <sighs> battles in campaign are so frustrating to me because even when I know I have units that can win these fights, I'm gonna lose because of the the way that the game cheats. Like, I, and I'm not saying cheat angrily, cheat. I mean. In order for them to increase the difficulty of the of the battles, they have to do things like give them morale that they don't deserve. That's the big one. Like, they get huge morale buffs. And I get some morale nerfs where my units are going to start falling apart a lot quicker than the enemies are. And what that does is it completely throws out of balance all of the knowledge I've picked up doing battles on an even footing. So, while I know that Amazon Swordswomen are pound for pound better than Spearmen. I'm losing those fights anyway. Because of the way they've tweaked the, uh, the morale here. Even though that should not be the case at all. Uh, and so every time I get, you know, back into a confident role of things where I'm like, yeah, this is a battle I can win, I get results like this. I don't know how I ended that battle and only managed for four lost units. I really don't know how that's the case. That seems absurd to me <laughs> that I only last lost the four units. But what's going to happen now is um, that's going to be the end of her movement. She's going to be stuck here. I can't do anything else with her anymore. 
Um, actually, no, wait, I can. I can. I can fall back. I thought the next thing that was going to happen was that one of these armies was going to come out here and attack me, but that was not the case. So I was able to get her into a place of relative safety. Whew. I thought for sure I was just done again, and I was going to have to lose another 20 turns. But I gotta be aggressive now. I have to be aggressive because if I don't start making back, if I don't start growing out of just like this, the same two territories that I was in from like turn five, turn six, whatever it was, I'm gonna be at this for a long, long time. And I'm already dealing with stuff like Ithaca already has agents out here, man. I'm I'm in a lot of trouble. I really, really am. So I need to start growing and fast. I mean. The funny thing was, like, when you were looking at that end battle result screen, I got out of that looking way better than my enemies did, and yet I was definitely going to lose that fight. Are you going to besiege me? Really? I think they just did that to prevent me from replenishing. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. He's not even going to attack me there. I'm shocked. I am shocked. Like, why don't you do that when I don't have an army there? They could have gone for Anthea. They could have just as easily just, just marched from Ephesos to Anthea. Like, this AI angers me so much. When I had no armies left, why wasn't I already dead? You see what I'm saying? The AI makes choices like this to tick me off. It's like, yeah, this is a, in one sense, maybe, this is a good tactical idea. He's preventing my forces from replenishing, from recovering. Okay, sure. I guess it's what you're doing here. But why not just take free territory? I guess, I guess the garrison here is also weak, sure. It's only seven troops and they're, they're at half strength, I guess. And the game is saying this is a 50-50. I'm frustrated, guys. I'm really frustrated. Again, battle I should easily win. I'm not going to fight it, though, because I'm going to wait for him to attack me. If he's going to attack me, I may just be sitting here for a long time, not recovering my casualties for a while. I just wanted to chase this SOB of an army out of here so I could replenish for a turn. Instead, I think now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to raise a second army. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ahead of him. I'm gonna pick up Amy Namini here. I'm gonna give her her chance to shine. We will not be tamed without fail. Alright, I'm gonna end that turn there. That saves the game, and that's going to be it for today. <sighs> Man. Frustrating finish. I'm I'm just gonna wait and see if they're gonna attack me or not. Tantalus wants a peace treaty, I don't care. Because I'm going to be going after them once I'm done with these guys. They broke. They fell back. Okay. Alright, that's fine, I guess. It's saving again right there, so that's good. Um, anyway, yeah. That's it for me tonight. Hope you all found that enjoyable. That was, that was definitely different. It was definitely different. It saved again, so we're good. It'll start right here at this beginning of this turn. Let me know your thoughts. I'll read your comments in the next video. This has been interesting, to say the least. Alright, ta-ta. Love you all. See you guys in the next video.